oh, they're boyfriend and girlfriend. And it's like, no, Marjorie, they are two. I mean, did we really expect anything but hypocrisy from homophobes? I don't think so. Hey, little buddies, welcome back to another video. First video on the channel, I don't know, but welcome either way. My name is Jamie, and I'm very glad to have you here today. Today, we are looking at a topic that I've called the hypocritical homophobes and transphobes, both. But the hypocritical homophobes just has a good ring to it. Anyway, this video is looking at pride collections. Pride collections are a thing. Companies slap some rainbows on things and go, woohoo, pride. Yes, um, we like the representation. Doesn't always hit though. This year, there has been significantly more backlash over pride collections among certain companies than there has been in the past. There's also been significantly more boycotts of companies who are supporting pride and supporting LGBTQ plus people and creators. So, horribleness this year. And Target, ironic given the name, has been a particular, I can't think of another word, but Target for these homophobes and transphobes about their pride collection. They really, really do not like Target's pride collection. I was a little bit confused specifically about like, why so much hate? Why so much hate this year? And why specifically Target? We've seen pride things in kid sections and in kid sizes before, but this year there was a lot of hate. And then I found this out. So why are conservatives boycotting Target's pride collection? The fuel that lit the MAGA fire began last week when members of the right-wing blogosphere, including self-proclaimed theoretic fascist Matt Walsh and the social media account Gays Against Groomers, began to spread the lie that Target was selling tuck friendly swimwear to children. According to PolitiFact, Walsh blatantly lied and said that the swimwear was available in kids' sizes on a May 17 episode of this podcast. Short story is Target aren't. It was adult-only bathing suit, but too late. Damage was already done. So this being spread led to a massive amount of backlash and basically a whole bunch of transphobes and homophobes marching in to Target stores and looking at their pride merch, talking about it, calling it out, calling it horrible and inappropriate, like destroying things. I saw the most pathetic video of like a guy punching or kicking or something, a cardboard pride sign in a shop. He didn't do anything. But yeah, we saw a lot of that. I thought we could watch some of them together. Don't worry, this video does get more positive. Here we go. Skittles. My queer year. Uh -huh. There's cards for the gay people. Welcome to Target. The front door is right there. So we are yeah. like 10 steps in before there is an entire pride display for your children to see. Uh -huh. These are like naked people on shirts. I was curious um, where the straight section is. Where the straight section is. So like shirts that say like straight pride, like hetero is hag, super sis, you guys have like... Super sis. Clothes, you have like, straight, like specific straight clothes to be straight in it. Go. Oh, I was just curious where the straight section was. I wanted to buy some gifts for my kids. Can you not record me, please? I'm recording her. Record me. I'm recording her. Oh, she's recording me. Okay, where's the straight section for straight and kids? Indoctrination of kids, and you're like behind. This is so bizarre. Are they... oh, I still wanted to talk to you, sir. You're the manager, right? Are they buying this um, stuff? I, I still wanted to talk to you. Hello? Is this real? Still trying to talk to you about this. No? No customer service? I mean, I can see why he doesn't want to talk to you. He's refused to talk to me. I'd refuse to talk to you. Where's the straight section? This has the same energy of like, where's straight pride? And yeah, sure, like, you can have a straight pride when you lose rights and are discriminated against specifically for being straight. There you go. Don't stores typically put the seasonal promotional items at the front of a store? Like you wouldn't walk in and see a Christmas display and start going on about like, where's the Easter stuff? I want eggs and bunnies right now, not Santa and elves. Target, shame on you. Okay, I'm in Target in West Covina, okay. California. And this is what they're pushing <gasps> where? on the agenda. West Covina, isn't that where a crazy ex-girlfriend is set? West Covina. <laughs> Rainbow wear. Quadruple queer. No more shopping. Super queer. Okay. At Target for me. No way, no way, no way. This is in the kids section. This is kids section. Literally just things with rainbows on. Just be you kids and section. feel the love. Wow. Kids section. How horrible. Baby section. Like, yeah, this is a baby section, kid section of Target, as you could tell. 
like it's crazy 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 in the kids section it's horrible why? I'd like an elaboration on why people find it horrible and why they think it's inappropriate other than just like spewing homophobia and shouting indoctrination. Like actually, why is it wrong? And when you think about it, it's only wrong because you don't think being gay is right and you don't think people should be gay and you don't think that's something that should be talked about. And also this was the pride section that had some kids clothing in it. It wasn't just a kids section. And I saw nothing inappropriate there. It was literally just rainbow t-shirts and things saying that we should be ourselves. What's the problem? Oh my God. We're at Target right now and there's a lot of controversy going on about all of the pride stuff that's coming uh -huh. out with kids clothes and things like that. So we're gonna go to the kids section and we're actually going to see if they're putting weird, creepy, uncomfy stuff on children's clothing. Bear the weird, creepy, uncomfy stuff on children's clothing in mind for a little bit later in this video because this is why it's called the hypocritical homophobes. Just wait for it. This is the child section. This is literally the kids section. Mm -hmm. I'm next to a literal onesie that says whatever the hell that means. We have glad you came out. So she hates it, but doesn't even know what it means. Just because it's got rainbows and says proud, you don't even know what it actually says. And I'm so happy that you're queer. Mm -hmm. In the kids section. Are you kidding me? No. I'm sorry, but pride and toddler don't belong in the same sentence. So I found an extra small swimsuit in the child section. It says light binding effect on it. And then the bottoms in the kids section, keep in mind, say tuck friendly construction. They're giving it to your kids. They didn't sell the tucking ability to kids. Also, kids items come in aged sizes, not excess small medium. If that doesn't give you a reason to boycott Target, I don't know what does, but this shit's getting out of hand. They're targeting children, whether you like it or not. <laughs> targeting. And it's time that people actually do something about it. Because if they don't, then guess what? That shit won't just be in Target, it'll be in every store, ever. What is wrong with that though? You cannot force anyone to be gay, just like you can't force anyone to be straight. So there being pride wear available, like what is so wrong with a toddler wearing rainbow colored leggings? They could have LGBTQ plus parents or an LGBTQ plus sibling and be going to pride events and there's nothing inappropriate about that and they're wearing their little rainbow leggings. It's literally just because these people do not think that LGBT plus people deserve visibility and representation and think that it's automatically inappropriate for children purely based on it being LGBT plus when that is literally not the case. Also, this video is actually a reaction by somebody who's already called this person out. So let's just have a look at what they had to say and what the facts of the matter actually are. Anybody can pick up an article of clothing and bring it into a different department in the store and say, look, this is a kid's clothing, but the websites don't lie. Since you hit the whole piece of clothing, we can just see that the stitching is just of a neon rainbow color. Kind of exactly like this one, yeah? Oh, Adult funny that. Bikini swim top. Homophobes are lying. <laughs> it also features a light binding effect to help express your gender identity. So I think we can all agree that this is the article of clothing that you are saying is a kid's bathing suit. Here are the bottoms. Pride adult bikini swim bottom. Adult. You can go on Target's website and look at everything they have available for children and for babies. Literally for just rainbows. And none of the clothing for the kids are anything like that article of clothing that you claim to be for children. To expose the fact that they were putting tuck and binding tags on children's clothing and swimsuits. Wow, yeah. They must know they're lying. Like, it's so painfully obvious. And, like, if you have to lie to try and get people on your side or believe what you're saying or horrify them about something that you're horrified about, then maybe you are just a bigot and you need to just calm down, tell the truth, and realize that you have your opinions and let's not be lying to try and fearmonger others to share your opinions under false pretenses. Okay, so I'm gonna try and do this without giving away obviously where I am because this is a local Walmart to me. Um, oh, it's Walmart. But I walked in here to buy a birthday gift for my best friend's son, and right as I was walking into the front entrance, which is directly behind me, that is the front entrance right there, this is what I saw. So originally I just saw this, horrifying. and then I looked over here. Love. Rainbows. Oh, terrifying. I don't get it. Those are children's shorts. 
the, it's rainbow. The level of drama from these people. It's like they're walking in and they're starting to just melt because there's a rainbow item of clothing in a kid's size. Jesus. There is no denying it. It's right at the very front. I don't think they're trying to deny it. So, guess what I'm doing, Walmart? I'm taking my business elsewhere. I was going to buy my boyfriend's birthday gifts here. I don't think they'll care. And you know what? I don't care enough to watch the rest of this video. It's just so bizarre. I don't get it. So they're lying about items of clothing that aren't actually being made or targeted towards children because they think it's going to cause the most ah, reaction and horrify the most people. There aren't tucking and binding swimwear items being sold by Target for kids, if that wasn't already obvious by the sizing. And everything that is for kids is literally just like proud, rainbow, love. Like, it's not any message that's bad. It's literally colours and messages of love. I don't understand why people get mad about this. I mean, it's homophobia, but then I don't understand homophobia, so I still don't understand. Of course, they did not just go to TikTok to share the horror and disbelief at rainbows. They also went to Twitter. Let's see some of these tweets. Why does a Disney store, a store made for kids, have a pride collection? Lots of people who enjoy Disney Disney and go to Disney, it's not just for kids. And also like Disney Plus has a lot of shows on it that aren't for kids. But in reality, what you're complaining about is like Disney themed things like Marvel, Star Wars, and like Mickey Mouse and that, that is just rainbow colored. I don't understand the problem. Moms from America is asking all moms to hashtag boycott Target. Target announced their new Pride Kids collection and we will not tolerate this evil indoctrination and grooming that is trying to steal the hearts and minds of our children. Retweet. Stop targeting our children. Hashtag boycott target. The evil indoctrination. <laughs> Steal the hearts and minds of our children. See, I told you, dramatic. At the end of the day, knowing that LGBT plus people exist and kids having access to that information and learning about pride and what pride season means and rainbows and everything, that will not make them gay if they are not. It will not make them trans. It will not make them anything. Your child is who they are, regardless of what they are exposed to. But even if, and it doesn't, but even if there was a sway, you're so terrified of your child being gay. Like, this is the level of fear they have over their children being LGBT plus in some way. Because that's what it is. They don't want their kid to be exposed because they think exposure will lead to their child being LGBT plus, and they really, really don't want that. Oh yeah, and of course, no Target Pride collection would be complete without something for the kids. Here's a Pride baby bodysuit, complete with slogans such as Be True to You, alongside rainbow hearts and upside down teddy bears holding rainbow flags. Be true to you, and then rainbows. What is so inappropriate about that? And someone's like, if you're gay, queer, trans, lesbian, whatever, that's fine with me. I couldn't care less, actually. More power to you. Live your life as you see fit. They're talking a little bit too much. They're try really trying to convince people. All I ask is that you please leave the children alone. So like, there is some kind of discomfort. You, you clearly are not completely, I couldn't care less. I'm totally fine with that. Live your life. Go. I support like, well, they didn't say they support and clearly they don't. There is obviously a level of discomfort and fear from them because they don't want kids to be exposed to it because they see it as inherently inappropriate for kids or influential on kids and both of those things scare them when there's nothing inappropriate. Literally none of the items that have been shown that are aimed towards children or come in kid sizes are inappropriate whatsoever. They are spreading messages of love and pride and rainbows. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to be looking at some other garments made for children that are inappropriate but they're not LGBT+, hence hypocritical homophobes. Woke alert! The North Face goes woke targeting kids for Pride collection. Outdoor clothing brand The North Face launches new woke campaign Summer of Pride with mustached male drag queen and Pride Kids clothing. <gasps> The horror, kids can wear a rainbow jacket. This is one of the examples I found. Outdoors together, written in rainbow colors. Wow, how awful. The drag queen is called Patagonia. I can see why they chose her. Is inviting everyone to come out and by everyone the North Face means everyone, including your kids. And in this wonderful little rainbow raincoat. This is what you will find in the kids section of Target. We urge you to take your business elsewhere. They are indoctrinating and grooming them with LGBTQ ideology. It is highly inappropriate and disturbing. We hope there are enough parents out there that understand how trans people will always exist. I like where it was the show. Understand how trans people will always exist. Let's just go with that. That's what they meant. And somebody replied to this going, it's not the kids section, you transphobic dumbass. It's the pride section for the annual pride collection. They always have a section in the store promoting their seasonal clothing collections. There are kids clothes in there too because they're LGBTQ families. You absolute moron. Oh, the stupidity is exhausting. Target's LGBT pride kids collection inherently promotes sexuality and sexual behavior. How? It's because they don't understand that being LGBT plus is not just a sex thing. It's 
so weird. They think that it's just automatically inappropriate and sexual, which desensitizes our children to adult content. Republican told blah, blah, blah. This puts our nation's most vulnerable in danger. Targets LGBT children's merchandise also puts parents in a position to have conversations with their own children about adult content they might not be ready for. I know what's coming up next in this video. I'm reading this stuff is so frustrating. We're about to dive into that. Let's remember children's clothing that inherently promotes sexuality and sexual behavior. Also, putting parents in a position to have conversations with their children about adult content they might not be ready for. This is what homophobes want to avoid. This is what people like this want to avoid. In a minute, we're going to have a little look and a chat about some uh, clothing that pushes cishet norms and like heteronormativity and straightness and things. And that's what's really inappropriate. Just for clarity, things in the Pride collection involve that baby girl that we've seen. A little t-shirt that says just be you and feel the love. Pride tutu, some rainbow leggings, a t-shirt that says proud sibling. Nothing inappropriate. Not only is all of this ludicrous because pride and rainbows and being LGBT plus is not inappropriate for kids, is not inherently sexual, which is something that homophobes seem to be very confused about or they're just willfully ignoring that fact in order to push their bigotry and make and legitimize their bigotry in some way. But it's also very hypocritical to be saying this about pride collections, which are objectively not inappropriate for children. The things that are in kids' sizes are not inappropriate for children. And to show the hypocrisy, I wanted to show some examples of baby to young child clothing that follows like cis hat norms and is actually weird and inappropriate and gross. And I've never seen a single homophobe complain about this. And it really makes you think, do they care about kids being exposed to inappropriate appropriate things or are they just bigoted? It really is the second one because let's have a look. So we have when do I get a spray tan, false eyelashes and lip filler like mummy. Right. It gets worse. Be honest, does my bum look big in this? Do we think that's appropriate for a baby? I came from, I'm not gonna read that. How, how, how can things like this exist and people waste their energy complaining about a rainbow on a kid's t-shirt? Little heartbreaker. This is a baby's bib. I hate my thighs. Lady kid, la la on a toddler, a toddler's top. And they think this is more appropriate than a message of love is love and rainbows and being a proud sibling. My daddy is jealous I had boobies for breakfast and he didn't. Warning, don't check out my daddy. Mummy is a psycho. I'm too sexy for my diaper. But this is just like horrifyingly uncomfortable. But I have yet to see a cis straight person who would go and complain about a pride collection also go and complain about this kind of clothing. Never seen them go into whatever shops these are sold in and boycott. Because this is is actually inappropriate. Like, I think they've gotten very confused. So use this as like a benchmark of inappropriate and weird to put this on a child's piece of clothing. Rainbows and messages of love is love and pride and support, not inappropriate. Sorry, ladies, I only date models. Chicks are all over me. Mm -hmm. Talk about pushing sexuality on people. Ladies, man. It's okay to assume a child's sexuality and push that assumption upon them as long as it's straight. I only date heroes tit-faced. Sorry girls, mummy says no dating. I'll have a bottle of the house wiped. Straight people, they're forcing gayness onto our kids. Also straight people, yes ladies, I'm single. This is like the epitome of showing the hypocrisy. Oh my god. Pick me up, darling. I love older chicks. Like, I feel so uncomfortable reading these. Who made this? Sorry boys, daddy is my valentine. Uh, the just, the no, the weirdness of it. The no, the no, no. But you know, because these are like cis straight things, themed and not LGBTQ plus in any way, perfectly acceptable in the eyes of these bigots. Even though they are actually, objectively, very odd and not age appropriate, they're fine because straight, yeah. And it's not just in clothes. <laughs> you know the whole thing where like two toddlers of different genders will smile at each other and everyone around will just be like, oh, their boyfriend and girlfriend. And it's like, no, Marjorie, they are two. I found a couple of examples. Men are the same at all ages. Did somebody take the info? into like a Hooters. It's the same colors as a Hooters uniform. Moms hold magical mini wedding photo shoot for their kids who love hanging out together. Imagine if this was two girl toddlers or two boy toddlers. Wow, the outrage, but no, they're straight, it's fine. I mean, people are assuming they're straight and pushing straightness on them and also making them have some weird staged wedding when they look like they're three years old. My brother went on a date with his little girlfriend and he is so in love. Really, really. It was at this very moment, little Bobby realized 
realised the importance of owning a motorcycle. And that's all I can deal with. That is all the tweets and the weird clothing and the weirdness of pushing straightness on young kids. Like, just no. Bizarre. Highly hypocritical. And it's just so reminiscent of the transphobes who are, like, hiding behind wanting to stand up for women's rights. And that's why they're being transphobic. But as soon as there's actually an attack on women's rights, like abortion rights, very silent. And it's the same thing. Like, they will go in and they will shout and they will make videos and they will go to Twitter and they will destroy things and they will boycott because somebody put some rainbows on kids-sized clothing. But as soon as there's anything actually inappropriate, don't hear anything. I've not seen it go viral that there are these really actually inappropriate items of clothing for sale places. Where's the big fuss being made about that? If they care about kids and they don't want them being exposed to inappropriate things, that is what they should be talking about. But they don't because that's not actually what they care about. And also, it's totally fine. It doesn't matter if it's inappropriate as long as it's straight and inappropriate. Anything LGBTQ plus is just assumed to be age inappropriate for kids. And it's not. It's not inherently an inappropriate thing. And it's just people are just homophobic and they're just assholes. And it's exhausting. And I wanted to talk about the hypocrisy of it. In today's video, I would say I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed me talking about it and the, the video, even if you didn't enjoy the topic. But yeah, if you did like it, think about giving a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.